In this video, we go over what makes a champion a bot laner, how to be a good bot laner, and how bot laners can convert their early game into mid and late game victories. The bot laner is often called an ADC or marksman. These are usually attack damage ranged carries who tend to be very easy to kill, but able to put out insane amounts of damage consistently. In this role, you'll often find a late game scaling hyper carry who wants to get three items and become a god, an earlier game carry looking to hard bully the lane, or a ranged mage who has the ability to put out consistent damage and usually brings good CC to pair with a CC heavy support. During the laning phase, there are two key aspects to focus on. Firstly, wave control. A player who knows how to control their waves will always have a strong advantage on one who doesn't, and there are three methods on how to control your waves. Firstly, we have the very simple hard pushing. This is generally the worst one as it doesn't give you time to do anything, but it can be helpful if you just need to get out of lane. Secondly, there's freezing your wave. This is where your opponent has more minions than you do, and you hold them near your tower just last hitting and not letting them crash. This is a great way to deny farm as it's dangerous for your opponent to walk that far up the lane, and also a great way just to farm safely. However, the best general option is slow pushing. This is pretty similar to hard pushing, but you simply just push the wave slower. This allows you to build up a large wave of minions to push into your opponent's tower. This is very strong as your opponent won't want to fight you in a large wave, and multiple waves crashing into the tower gives you a larger window to roam or get a free back. If you want to go over wave management in more detail, I've put a link to my 3 minute video on it in the description down below. The second key mechanic of being a bot laner is trading. This is understanding that most fights that either side starts means losing some health and dealing some damage. You're essentially looking to trade some of your health to do even more health damage to them, and understanding how to take good trades where you deal more damage is crucial. To know if a trade is good or not, you need to consider attack range, spells, cooldowns, minions, and if their spells will hit through minions. This will of course change depending on each matchup and each scenario, but a good window to always look out for is if your opponent uses spells on minions. This will mean you simply have more spells available to you than they do, so when you go in for a trade you'll have more spells to throw at them than they have to throw at you. Of course, one of the main difficulties of bot lane is that instead of keeping track of one champion's cooldowns, you're instead keeping track of two. This means that trades can be incredibly risky and incredibly dangerous, but also incredibly rewarding, as both sides have the potential to have two champions attack one champion for a huge amount of damage. Learning your matchups along with your damage, your support damage and your opponent's damage is all going to be crucial in understanding if a trade is good. When it comes to warding, you have access to two control wards and tons of wards between you and your support, so you can keep yourself incredibly safe. On blue side, you always want a control ward in your tri brush, and a great place for the second control ward is in your other entrance to the bot side jungle. This will give your entire team early warnings if you're invaded. Other than this, good ward spots include the river brush, between dragon pit and their jungle entrance, and over bot side ward if they've got a jungler who's going to jump over it. On the red side you'll want one of your control wards in your jungle entrance to keep yourself safe, in the river brush if you're able to defend it, and make sure to get a normal ward in their tri brush. Entering the mid game, as a bot laner you're looking to take your tower and then move to the mid lane. This allows you to siege the mid tower for additional map control and allows you to quickly rotate any objectives or fights. Your goal at this stage in the game is to help your team take objectives, siege towers and keep yourself safe on the back line of every fight. You don't pick a bot laner to be winning games through split pushing and map pressure. The way you provide value to your teams is by clearing waves, sieging objectives and providing massive amounts of consistent damage in teamfights. 